hello guys in this we are going to talk about abg analysis and we'll specially focus on the aspect of delta question and the basics of abg analysis in uh, not very comprehensive way uh, we'll just brief about it but we'll uh, go deeper into the aspect of delta delta ratio so let's read the question the abg analysis of patient is given below ph is 7.2 bicarb is 10 psea2 is 25 and an n gap is 15 so what is the likely diagnosis so try to solve it by yourself and uh, pause the video if you want and then we'll move to the solution of this question so as we can see that ph is 7.2 which is less than 7.4 which is which means it's acidosis okay so pH 7.2 is acidosis then bicarb bicarb is 10 which means bicarb has decreased which means it's a metabolic acidosis and in cases of metabolic acidosis we'll expect that uh, carbon dioxide reduces as uh, respiratory compensation kicks in it will cause uh, respiratory wash out of carbon dioxide and in compensation carbon dioxide reduces so that goes in line and an n gap is high which means it's a high n gap metabolic acidosis okay so but as we can see that there is high n gap metabolic acidosis in this option this option this option then how can we solve it so let's uh, start from basics like uh, normal values are always in range but during abg analysis will uh, stick to one particular value for abg analysis normal value of bicarbonate will be 24 normal value of carbon dioxide will be 40 ph will be 7.4 and anion gap will be less than 10 so this is normal strict value which we follow for the abg analysis so uh, let's see what happens in cases of uh, metabolic and acidosis and metabolic alkalosis because uh, see most questions asked in exams are about metabolic acidosis or alkalosis so let's focus on that thing only so metabolic acidosis is or alkalosis means uh, there is something wrong with our bicarb metabolic acidosis alkalosis something wrong with bicarb acidosis means ph will reduce okay acidosis ph will be less than 7.4 alkalosis means ph will increase okay ph will be more than 7.4 so what will happen to our bicarb so bicarb is a basic ion so in case of acidosis acidic ions will increase and basic ions will decrease okay and in metabolic alkalosis it should increase okay simple no confusion so in cases of metabolic acidosis body tries to compensate how will body compensate body compensates by uh, its buffer system by its respiratory compensation and by its renal compensation so what will be respiratory compensation in case of metabolic acidosis see if there is acidosis in body then body will try to uh, bring it to the normal so it will cause a respiratory compensation which is alkalosis so to bring the ph to the normal there will be respiratory wash out of carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide will also reduce due to hyperventilation as a compensation in cases of metabolic acidosis and in the same way in metabolic alkalosis there will be respiratory compensation which will be respiratory acidosis so body will conserve carbon dioxide in the body in order to bring the ph to the normal so it all goes in line see in metabolic acidosis all three reduces in metabolic alkalosis all three increases okay simple and anion gap is less than 10 normally and in cases of acidosis it's important that uh, 
in cases of acidosis it can increase or it can be normal if it is increased we call it as high NN gap metabolic acidosis if it is normal we call it as normal NN gap metabolic acidosis so this is the basic things which you should uh, know and then only we can solve this question I am not going in a very uh, comprehensive way because I am assuming that you know these things okay so then let's talk about the compensation thing as I said that uh, in metabolic acidosis bicarb will reduce okay in metabolic acidosis there will be reduced bicarb so in order to compensate that our carbon dioxide will also reduce and how much will be that reduction it is going to be 1.25 into reduction in bicarbonate which means if uh, suppose uh, our bicarb normal is 24 and let's see in this case only see our normal bicarb is 24 from 24 bicarb has reduced to 10 so reduction is 14 so what will be our uh, carbon dioxide that will be 14 into 1.25 uh, and that will be approximately 18 I think uh, let me calculate uh, it will be yes 17.5 so approximately 18 or 17 let's say so by 17 by uh, carbon dioxide uh, should reduce by 17 so normal value of carbon dioxide is 14 14 minus 17 that will be 23 here we have 25 which is almost uh, uh, normal which means uh, reduction in carbon dioxide is well compensated okay so this is the compensation in metabolic acidosis reduction in by uh, carbon dioxide will be 1.25 into the reduction in bicarb and in the same way in alkalosis metabolic alkalosis increase in carbon dioxide will be 0.75 into increase in bicarb okay so remember these two values only and then let's move to the concept of NN gap as I said that metabolic acidosis can be high NN gap type or normal NN gap type or normal NN gap Hagma or Nagma in short form ok so let's uh, learn what is that so for that focus on this diagram which I have made so normally in our body positive and negative charges are in balance so in positive charges there is sodium potassium and unmeasured uh, cations okay actually uh, it should be like this there is sodium and other unmeasured uh, cations potassium is also part of unmeasured cations so so there is sodium and other unmeasured cations okay and then there is uh, in negative ions there is chloride there is bicarb and there is unmeasured anions unmeasured anions are which we not routinely measured like uh, phosphate sulfate then our proteins those also uh, contribute to this unmeasured anions so there is a thing called anion gap okay so anion gap means uh, in our body unmeasured anions are more so there is a gap between unmeasured anions and unmeasured cations so that is called anion gap which means unmeasured anions minus unmeasured cations is anion gap but as we know that we can't measure it then how we'll use it practically so to do that uh, we have mathematically derived the formula of it see the plus and negative charges are in equal so sodium plus potassium plus uh, unmeasured cations are equal and uh, uh, then so if I bring unmeasured cation this side 
and uh, chloride and bicarb this side so that will become this uh, equation that uh, nn gap is equal to sodium minus bicarb minus chloride and we can look uh, that on this diagram also that uh, nn gap see this is nn gap this area which i have highlighted is nn gap but uh, you can derive it other way also that uh, this is sodium level okay sodium minus chloride plus bicarb so this so this much is an n gap okay okay got it what is an n gap so let's see that what is the concept of this delta delta gap okay delta delta gap so normally what happens uh, let's consider scenario of uh, high nn gap metabolic acidosis hagma so example is diabetic ketoacidosis okay so in diabetic ketoacidosis there will be increased unmeasured uh, anions which is a uh, like ketone bodies will be there which are unmeasured anions so in those cases unmeasured anions will increase okay but this will obviously it is going to remain same so if this increases and this is same then anion gap will increase simple right so in high gap metabolic acidosis anion gap increases then there is normal anion gap metabolic acidosis in which unmeasured anions are not increasing see in those cases there is loss of bicarbonate but it is compensated by chloride so if uh, bicarb reduces in normal anion gap metabolic acidosis chloride increases in such way that both uh, cancel each other like chloride will increase bicarb will uh, decrease for example bicarb is like this then it will become this much okay but chloride if it is this much then it will raise itself to compensate and if we add both then it will be like equal okay so chloride is compensating reduction in bicarb so that is normal anion gap uh, metabolic acidosis so this is very simple thing to understand okay so let's uh, learn about this delta delta gap uh, ratio now so see the delta bicarb delta bicarb means reduction in bicarbonate is equal to delta anion gap means increase in anion gap if both are equal which means if uh, uh, an anion gap has uh, raised itself from 10 to 15 so delta anion gap will be 5 okay delta anion gap should be 5 and bicarb is decreasing from 19 to suppose uh, from 24 to 19 suppose so that is also 5 so both are matching so this means there is high anion gap metabolic acidosis because both are equal simple to understand no confusion yes then there is uh, thing that delta bicarb is high then delta anion gap which means reduction in bicarb is more suppose uh, let's write it here okay suppose bicarb your normal bicarb is 24 your normal anion gap is uh, 10 you have high anion gap metabolic acidosis so it is increasing by 5 but your reduction in bicarb is way more like it is from t uh, 24 it is coming to 10 which means reduction is 14 delta bicarb is 14 
and delta n n gap is 5 this is what is asked in our question okay so which this means that uh, apart from this uh, high n n gap causing metabolic acidosis there is something else which is causing reduction in bicarbonate because it is reducing so much so apart from our high n n gap metabolic acidosis there is another form of metabolic acidosis which is present in this case due to which the n n gap is less but bicarbonate delta gap is more reduction in bicarbonate is more reduction in bicarbonate means acidosis metabolic acidosis so there is apart from high n n gap metabolic acidosis which other type of metabolic acidosis is there normal n n gap metabolic acidosis so in this case apart from high n n gap acid metabolic acidosis there is also nagma so that is what i have written here uh, that uh, in this case we have hagma plus uh, nagma okay in this case we have hagma plus nagma because reduction in bicarbonate is much more and due to that delta bicarb gap is high delta is which means uh, uh, final value minus original value okay so that is more than this delta n n gap and that is hagma plus nagma then opposite to that delta bicarb is less and delta n n gap is more let's write it here suppose our n n gap is increasing from 10 to 15 delta n n gap is 5 but our bicarb is from 24 to let's say 22 so our bicarb is only uh, reduced by 2 so delta by bi delta bicarb is 2 delta n n gap is 5 so it should have reduced by 5 but it has not why because there is something which is increasing bicarb what can increase bicarb alkalosis yes alkalosis can increase bicarb which alkalosis metabolic alkalosis can increase bicarb okay so this is a case of high n n gap metabolic acidosis because n n gap is high so high n n gap metabolic acidosis plus metabolic alkalosis because reduction in bicarb is less so delta bicarb is less so let's look into this question again see that uh, bicarb is 10 PSEO is 25 which means well compensated okay and n n gap is 15 okay so let's uh, calculate delta bicarb delta bicarb will be 24 minus 10 14 and delta n n gap will be 15 minus 10 5 delta bicarb is more which means there is something apart from high n n gap metabolic acidosis which is reducing bicarb which means there is high plus normal and n gap metabolic acidosis so answer is d thank you for watching please like the video share and subscribe to my channel thank you